show to the horror daddies where we talk about your favorite horror tv show and today we continue our adventure down chucky season two episode seven i'm your horror daddy carlos and i'm your film daddy john and let me tell y'all this episode called going to the chapel i was on fucking edge the whole time this episode <laughs> everything fucking popped off everything all, all my emotions <laughs> all my emotions were out there mouth was opening left and right for all kinds of things damn sour everything <laughs> like, like did you have no moment to to breathe? No. Because once you took a breath, they got taken away. Something else happened, <laughs> and I was like, oh, "Yo!" And like they're like, "Oh, we murdering half the cast this week." Yeah, yep. yeah. Everyone you loved gone. Don't even worry about it. It's wild. The, like, the, the roller coaster. I was like this the whole time. Like, oh I'm not, shit! Oh shit! I'm not gonna lie to y'all. I got my water bottle here because this episode has my asthma acting the fuck up. <laughs> like I was on fucking edge the whole time. So, right, so we, ready? Yeah, we do start this episode with Jake doing like a confession to our father Bryce. We don't know why yet. We thought it was maybe like a flashback or yeah. like a dream. It's all black and white, and all you see is the red, like, like what is that called? Like, like the the, the red from the the, the uniform. The, the uniform. Mm-hmm. And it it looks really pretty, but it it feels weird. And then it cuts to the ending, the what happened, the yeah. aftermath of the last episode. Yeah, which is Doctor Mixer holding up the gun against uh, the kids. The kids come downstairs. You know, Nadine already died. She, uh, Jake has fucking Chucky. Like, and Andy is just hanging out. <laughs> yeah. So that was a that was a bit weird. A little because, weird because Kyle shows up with a gun too. Like, what's up, bitch? And then you, Andy's just there. And I was like, wait a minute, did his ass get knocked out like a few minutes ago? It was so funny because not that much time has passed. No, no. And then he was all smiley because Kyle walked in. It's like, wait a minute, weren't you just down the, under the stairs? Random ass motherfucker. Out here. But let me not start because Sister Catherine too. Like you got shot, and the whole episode your arm will look fine. No, no wounds, nothing. nothing. <laughs> like okay, but um, yeah, Jake is super pissed at this Chucky. This Chucky keeps switching back and forth. Yeah, it's, so we it is told it we this one confirms that it's just a switch. Mm-hmm. So kind of how Nika and Chucky has that little dynamic. Mm-hmm. Chucky has like a good and bad side on this doll specific doll. I guess because of the brainwashing, kind of fuck with yeah. it. Yeah, because he calls Jake to get closer and he fucking smacks the shit out of him. Yeah, so it's on. like mm-hmm. it's like what's happening mm-hmm. with him. Um. So they're trying to figure out what we're going to do with this Chucky. And then we come to the conclusion and exorcism. And then we get the title card all holy with the candles. And it's, it's really like, cool. It's like the, the sound and everything. It's, mm-hmm. It looks so, it sounds so majestic. Yep. Yep. Uh, we got to Tiffany <laughs> grabbing some food where she gets recognized by like the uh, customer and someone that works there. And she's like, that's not even me, but that's a horrible picture. What yeah. the fuck? It's like, oh, the murderer, Jennifer yeah. Tilly. Yeah. And uh, nobody gives a fuck. No. <laughs> They're just more obsessed that she's there. Um, And then she comes to the conclusion that she's just going to switch her body back to a doll. And Jennifer, then the Jennifer doll is like, wait a minute, wait a minute. What about me? She's like, well, you'll be used to it. You've been in prison anyway. So it's like. <laughs> <laughs> now now that she's like in yeah. the lookout, right? Um, So the, we do get Nadine's body getting taken away by the ambulance. We're still very sad about that. Moment of silence for Nadine. Okay. Lexi is destroyed. She is done with Jake and Devin. Yep. She starts taking pills again. Um, And she just. Uh, goes goes cray cray. Just yeah. a little cray cray. She's she, high as fuck. Mm-hmm. Um. So as Chucky is tied up, surrounded by everyone. Yeah. Nobody gives a fuck about him. <laughs> no. And it's still the good Chuck. Still the it, good Chucky. Yeah. Like, oh help, get me out of here. Um. Nika and Andy finally meet. Mm-hmm. Kyle and Andy finally like, oh, you survive, you survive too. What's up, homie? <laughs> uh, <laughs> I love what Kyle says. It's kind of like a survival group. <laughs> yeah. I also love, and I told you, like, I know Andy's a short king. I love that Kyle's still taller than him. Yeah, it's, it's like really in Child's cute. Play 2, it's kind of like it stayed the same. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, he didn't say that short. <laughs> I mean, no. <laughs> um, so, yeah, and then uh, Devin and Jake kind of have a talk, but they're not at good terms right now. Yeah, because Lexi does make a good point. Mm-hmm. She kind of just says, 
we don't have anything in common besides Chucky. Yeah. Like, what the fuck do we have in common? Because if you think about it, I mean, Jake and Devin were kind of already kind of getting to know each other. But when but, it came to Lexi, mm-hmm. the only reason she spoke to Jake was because he tried to murder her and yep. do- with the doll. Yeah, it's true. Mm-hmm. It mm-hmm. is very true. And regardless, Devin was already interested in Chucky. Jake yeah. had the relationship with Chucky. So you could say they really don't have that much in common yeah. either. Mm-hmm. But so he they try to talk about it. But Devin says, nah, not right now. We'll talk about our relationship later. Uh, this is no, when you never want to hear those words. <laughs> no, no. When your man says we'll talk about this later, it's not right, good. Hello. Yep. So, and then Lexi's having a tantrum. Obviously, she's missing Nadine a lot, and this is when we get Nadine as an angel. Woo, Nadine, we got her I back. Know, and her dress is so pretty; it has mm-hmm. lights on the back. I'm like, damn girl, I would rock the shit out of that too. <laughs> <laughs> so, bitch, you go straight to hell. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> I'm just kidding, bitch. Okay. About bitch. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Mine would be red, <laughs> <laughs> red lights with um, horns. Ooh, yeah, actually, kind of dope. Thank you. So you know, Nadine kind of like com- com- comforts her, and you know, like, um, como se dice? She does what Nadine does best yes. with Lexi. She's that bestie, even though that bitch is dead as well, fuck. Uh, yeah, she's still that bestie. She tells her like, "You're still strong." You know. Yeah. You told me your secret. I know you can tell the boys, talk to them, get to know them, mm-hmm. not get to them, you know, like, uh, fuck, I can't think. I'm tired, y'all. But <laughs> she pretty much just like tells her what she said in the bathroom. It's like, yeah. you did that for me and you barely know me. You can do, then it, for you them. Can do it for them. Mm-hmm. And she's scared. I mean, I get it. Like yep. she, she is terrified, Yep. but um, Nadine did it. <laughs> We get Hannibal Lecter, Chucky. Bro, and it's the creepiest. Mm -hmm. Oh, my. uh, Like, I would hate walking into this room with him like that. Yeah. I would be so scared. Yeah, because they, Andy's like, I need to, I need to put him away. We can't, we can't trust him like this. So they put him in an Hannibal Lecter mask and like tie him (laughs) up and put him like, put him in in a a fucking Annabelle (laughs) looking thing. And I was like, okay. And he's so creepy. He's like banging his head on the mm-hmm. thing and like growling and shit. Yep. So creepy. We do have a Andy's confessional, which is pretty much him kind of saying that he's always his been whole scared. Life, he's always been scared, but at the same time, he's nothing without Chucky. Yeah. It's kind of how Lori and Mike are like, you it's, know, it reminds me of the other. Yeah. It reminds me of the Batman and Joker relationship where yes. it's like oh, they yeah, like always that. have to keep each other. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Um, so. Father Bryce is trying to call the Vatican, you know, so they could do this exorcism. And y'all, this is one of my favorite scenes. <laughs> he <sighs> gets fired. Apparently, he's been fired as a as a priest. The phone call is really funny because he's like, "Okay, all right, <laughs> yep. well, I'm not a father no more." <laughs> yeah. He pulls out the exorcism for dummies book, and then he says, "We doing this uh, old school," and he just strips down whole shirtless he and goes from father bryce to daddy bryce and i was like wait a minute you just put on like a black cloak and the same thing again there was no reason for you to do this but Don Mancini and devin sawa thank you very much because i very very enjoyed that very much he was writing he was writing his notes i'm like hey, yeah, look, look. yeah i was right, i wasn't looking and you told me to look up and i was like oh, mouth open and all i was like oh i'm glad we got this i've been waiting all season yeah oh. They knew exactly what they were doing. We didn't get this last season. No, we didn't. Um. So then Sister Ruth walks into Lexi's room holding the pills. Yep. And she kind of threatens her here, but we don't see what she's about to do. And we cut away from them again. Sister Ruth. Um, mm-hmm. Glenda interacts with Chucky. She's very hurt. She feels they, abandoned. They they, sorry. They feel abandoned. Um, Chucky <laughs> asks them to get his old knife that he stashed away somewhere back when he was younger. Yeah, it's like in the woods or something. Mm-hmm. And Glenn, Glenda's like, nah, mm-hmm. like, leave me the fuck alone. Yeah. She just wants, or they, uh, sorry, they just want answers from him mm-hmm. and he's not going to give them, obviously. He's just trying to trick them. Like, mm-hmm. that's all they're doing mm-hmm. or he's doing. Like, Ch- we know Chucky. We know you, Chucky. Mm-hmm. It's been, mm-hmm. what, 30-something years? Yeah. So they walk away from him and then Chucky is asking if he is going to go to heaven. Because, oh, no, sorry, we do get Glenda's confessional. Yeah. Where they ask Father Bryce to pretty much pray pray for Glenn because they miss them very much. And yep. that's pretty much that <laughs> And quickly was like, oh, yeah, and I murdered somebody. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, just throw it in there. <laughs> you just threw that, uh, they threw that in there, which I was like, it must be the the uh, the the lady they killed in, in yeah. Cedar Chucky. So we cut back to Jennifer Tilly real quick where she's super excited to be a doll again. <laughs> so many outfits, no more wrinkles. All the chocolate you can eat. All the chocolate you can eat. Everything works fine down there. She's very, very excited. As this is happening, Glenn is like, Glenn is like to Jennifer, the doll, don't worry, I'm going to get you out of this. 
but Jennifer's untying herself very slowly as Tiffany's talking. She manages to untie herself, gets out of the car, runs away, and then... Hit, Boom! Everything. Gets hit by a truck, which has to be a reference... Yeah. <laughs> which has to be a reference to Brian of Chucky. Um, forgot his name, but he gets run over by the truck and explodes. Pretty much that's what happens to Jennifer here. And I was like... like Again, mouth open. It was, was not expecting that to happen. It was so out of nowhere and so fast that mm-hmm. like we didn't even have time to react. It was yep. just boom, she was dead. <laughs> so now the only bell doll left is the one that Lexi's little sister has. So, so we'll see where that because we haven't we have not gone back to them. No, not, not at all. all. And you know, I was gonna tell you my, one of my predictions is like, what if we go back and Lexi doesn't know her mom and her sister are dead and that doll was alive? <gasps> oh my. god. That's a good one. Mm, mm-hmm. oh, but shit. I don't think they're going to do that. No, I don't I think so. I think she would have found out already her mom died. Mm-hmm. And also just, you know, uh, that bell doll, something's going on with it. And Something. It, it's going to be for Tiffany. Mm-hmm. They're not going to kill Tiffany and just Tiffany's gone forever. Yeah, exactly. Mm-hmm. We're not doing that. So this then we go back to exorcism. exorcism. I mean, Chucky's antagonizing every motherfucking body. And he's so fucked because he's like, he doesn't just fuck with you physically. Mentally, he's fucking with yep. you. Like, oh, fuck you. Like, just literally bullying every he, person there. He pulls in uh, the exorcist line. Your mother's just <laughs> cocks in hell to Devin. And Devin's like, we all seen that movie. And he, Chucky's like, well, she's actually really doing it. And I was like, oh, Devin, oh, you better. Sh- I, if I were no. Devin, I would have. I would have took a hit. <laughs> yeah. I like, at least one. The power of Christ compels you, bitch. Fuck you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Just a couple hits. But a cr- the cool thing is that they're throwing holy water at him and it's burning him. Yeah. He's so fucking it, evil. <laughs> well, I, it would have been funny if he's like doing it and he's like, bitch, this shit don't work. Yeah. Like, shut up. Um, eventually, Father Bryce gets near his mouth. He bites him mm-hmm. and then it activates because of the blood. Chucky Nika. Uh, and she's like, Fuck. Mm-hmm. And it, she starts going like, oh, a little help here to yep. Glenda. Yep. But Glenda doesn't want to do anything. Nope. Should, like, they shouldn't. Yeah. And then Kyle punches the shit out of her again. <laughs> they blindfold her so she doesn't have to see any blood. And they keep doing the the thing. And then Chucky starts floating up in the air all godly. Mm-hmm. And then he falls. And, y'all, if I didn't tell you, my mouth again opened for this scene here. Because it just revealed that Father Bryce is now Chucky. And I'm like, holy shit, muscular, six foot tall, fine as fuck. I'm here for this one. But then, <laughs> but, but then, it was funny. Chucky t- t- took his shirt off. I was hoping, but then, <laughs> but then, he explodes. Yep. And like, I was like, what is? Whoa, 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 no! Like, like no break. Because it's crazy. We hear okay. It was very a very very good performance by Devisawa. Oh, amazing! Because it was like him going into the Chucky voice, but also turning back to his, and he's mm-hmm. like, "Go to hell, Chucky." His eyes go really blue. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. He's like, "Go to hell, Chucky." And he goes, "Not after you, father." Yep. Just explodes, and then they show it like a million times, back to back in slow motion, just to fuck with us. Yep. And I guess like the bodies were fighting each, the souls were fighting each other for the body that it was too much and it exploded. I or, or Chucky did that on purpose. Yeah, to I think do Chucky that. did. Mm-hmm. It on purpose so then we do get father bryce's confessional mm-hmm. and what i took from it was that he was different get, different and he regrets his life for not you know being his true self yep which i low-key got lgbtq um and I, me too because i him. i looked at you and i was like does that mean that he might be a like gay, gay or yeah. something and then you've also pointed out that when Devin and jake kiss he really didn't do much about it no he kind of was like oh i'm gonna punish you guys mm-hmm. but they didn't really punish them because no. of it or confronted them no so i wonder if like maybe he saw them himself as in Devin and jake yeah. so maybe I'm here for it. And then we see... But now he's dead, so... It's yeah, like, that's true. That doesn't matter. But Sister Catherine did the confession for yeah. him, and she starts crying. Mm-hmm. And she says... Uh, was a pe- he says, what's the penance? And she said, don't worry about it. You've already punished yourself enough. Yeah. And he starts crying. I almost cried, too. Oh, I was like... F- I, Sister Catherine, honestly, have a sweet yeah. spot for her. Even, you, even though you got shot and your arm is working. <laughs> I don't even know why you're still talking. Like, how the fuck you do that? Yeah. But it was a powerful scene, and mm-hmm. I, I wonder if that's what Dom Mancini was right, wrote this yep. like as that's the underlying message for mm-hmm. this scene. And then we get a severed head on the floor, which I kind of want it because you know it's still hot. But <laughs> the, the <laughs> father saw <were> like, ah. <laughs> he's like, damn, that's hot. Um, Nika does the chant. We mm-hmm. cut away and we get her confessional. You want to do the chant real quick? Ah, de, 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 de,
Give me the power, I beg of you. And then she starts speaking and oh shit, what did we switch? Switch, switch, switch. <laughs> no, um, but she confessed that she's tired of Chucky, all the shit he's ruined her life, which is very true. Yeah. Uh, we get more of the chant from her. The body switch. Jake grabs Chucky and fucking starts drowning him in the holy water, and he's burning up too. Mm-hmm. Then fucking out of nowhere, Sister Ruth walks in with Lexi, a gun to her head. And I'm like, whoa. What the fuck? Whoa, 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 whoa. Uh-huh. What are we doing here? Because the whole plan is for Dr. Mixter to take Chucky after they did the whole body thing. And guess who she was fucking working with? Dr. Mixter. That fucking bitch. Shut the fuck up, bitch. I can't so, stand her. <laughs> the deal is to switch Dr. Mixter and Chucky for Lexi. So we do that. Yep. But... As Doc, uh, Sister Rue keeps talking shit, Glenda throws a fucking well, knife. She was gonna kill. She was gonna kill fucking. That's true. She Lexi. Was, she was still gonna kill Lexi. L- fucking Glenda throws a knife at her fucking face and it hits her right in the eye and it kills her. And I was like, Glenda, oh. you a bad bitch. <laughs> in the non-binary way, bro. Yep. So Doctor Mace is running. Running away with Chucky. Old but, ass. Old ass running. But here comes Short King Andy <laughs> with a fucking gun and just goes, bah. And gets Chucky right in the fucking mouth, in yep. the jaw. Chucky, Dr. Mr. drops Chucky. Dr. Mr. keeps running. Mm-hmm. And then Chucky tries to get up, and Andy just shooting. Yeah. And just shooting. And then it's a, pl- a platoon reference where Chucky gets up and starts getting shot. And Chucky's yep. like, uh, 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 yep. uh, uh, And then dies, right? He yeah. Does, he yeah. tries he, to say something, but he's, like, choking. Well, they're like, oh, you think he's trying to have the last laugh in their pot? And, or his li- it's his oh, life yeah. flashing before his eyes, and he's like, yeah, but he's probably trying to have the last laugh, too. Then Nika and Glenda are having a moment. Tiffany shows up with Glenn. Nika pulls up a gun on, on Tiffany, and then Glenn takes a fucking shot for Tiffany, and I was like, y'all better not. Y'all better not. They can't do this. They y'all can't. better not. And I was like, okay, Hold on. Let's pause for a second. There's a doll in the car. Do it. Do, do it the right fucking now. chant. They do it, do it but I guess they're taking <laughs> yeah, I guess they're taking them to the hospital. But I'm ooh, I'm pretty sure. And I'm just gonna say this, and I might be completely wrong, but I'm gonna say this. They are dying as they're arriving to the hospital, and Tiffany does the chant on the on the Glenn doll, and they do the they they body they switch. switch. So now Glenn might actually be in the doll. So then what are they gonna do with the empty body? It's dead. <laughs> <laughs> that's what happens. I guess that's true. <laughs> I mean, they are dying from the gunshot, so the, the, I I you feel like the, the only body. way to save them is to put the soul back in the, the yeah, doll because no, no, that's that the only sense. place they can go. Yeah, what I'm saying is that they just dump the the body. Uh, <laughs> I guess. Or they do. I don't know. I don't know. But so that I guess that's where it's gonna lead. We only have one more episode, mm-hmm, so mm-hmm. it's gonna be straight up fire. Yep. And then as Dr. Mixter is driving away, we do get her confession with the father, Bryce. And she's like, well, this is my confession and you can't say nothing because that's <laughs> your job here. So, haha, fuck you, father. And then I, it's, can't her. I really can't. The whole time I'm like, y'all can't <laughs> jump this bitch. Fuck her this, up. This whole that's hag coming in. Andy gonna boop boop a couple like, of times. She's straining y'all with a gun and y'all just doing this exorcism with it. That was your chance to grab punch her. <laughs> Get rid of her. What the <laughs> yeah. fuck was she gonna do? There's like 70 y'all. Like it's so true. They could have beat her. Y'all ass really could have beat her ass and then <laughs> kill Chucky. But no, guess what? Now she's Chucky. Yep. What the fuck? So she actually the soul of Charles Lee Ray is in her now. Like, so, Kyle, I, you could have took that bitch. <laughs> Come on. But no, she punches Nika. <laughs> so my theory was that when she was running, she was like, hey, Dewey Dembella. And like real quick. So then the per- the Chucky that they shot dead and they were like, haha, bitch, fuck it you. It was probably her. <laughs> it was up to mix her. So it's kind of funny that they're she like. She sacrificed herself for the for the doll. <gasps> oh, damn. But it's like, okay, but is there are there any other doll? I guess there is because they are the preview for the next episode is a Christmas special. What it seems like, yeah. And Chucky comes down the chimney with a chainsaw. Yeah, <laughs> I was like, okay, Krampus Leatherface. <laughs> That's a tiny ass chainsaw. <laughs> <laughs> so there has to be a time skip if it actually takes place on Christmas, unless this next episode doesn't have anything to do with with the story, where it's just like a like a uh, random like just. Episode. I think it does. Because I Tiffany, also, she goes, oh, you're still alive? And I don't know who she's talking to. Oh. There's a lot of deaths in this episode. There was a lot. There was a shirtless daddy. Ooh. 
and Dr. Mixer should have gotten it worse. Like, y'all really couldn't, <laughs> like, why did y'all just let this woman, y'all, Ugh. y'all, it took, it just, y'all, listen, listen. Hey, we got Nadine back. Y'all lucky I wasn't in that group, because I've been like, Dr. Mesa, square the fuck up right now. <laughs> what the fuck you gonna do? <laughs> it would have beat her ass. That was such a crazy episode. Um, All right, well, that's pretty much the Chucky episode seven. Yeah, going to the chapel. Going to the chapel. Also, thank you guys for letting me know about correcting the title for the last one. Yeah, Definitely thank, is not going to happen th- for this one. Yeah. Thank you, all <laughs> So, I appreciate it. Um, if you guys like this content, please give us a subscribe, a like, and a comment down below. Let us mm-hmm. know what you think about this crazy-ass episode. Yeah. Um, and if you haven't seen our podcast, every Tuesday we release an episode. So, next ep- last episode was the Texas Chainsaw Massacre 2. Which was a great episode, y'all. Mm-hmm. Y'all should check that one it out. It was a lot of fun. Mm-hmm. Very funny. So, go check us out there. And then this week, catch us with our Thanks Killing 3 commentary track, which... Oh, Jesus. Y'all, we already recorded it, but like, y'all... It's, it's a lot. It was a lot. <laughs> <sighs> See you in your dreams. <laughs>